Hi, everyone. My name is Ben Mattis. I'm the senior producer at WB Games Montreal on Batman Arkham Origins. And I'm Michael McIntyre, the gameplay director. And Ben and I are here today to talk to you about how we're going to be using gameplay, narrative, and a lot of the key relationships to show the player what it would be like to play Batman during his early career. So the Black Mask, who's the number one crime lord in all of Gotham, has chosen this night, Christmas Eve, to put a $50 million bounty on Batman's head. This has attracted eight of the top assassins in the DC universe to Gotham for one night to kill the Bat. And they've brought with them gangs of thugs and mercenaries who are tearing the city apart, trying to lure Batman out so that the assassins can deliver the killing blow. Now, in the game, you as Batman are free to set out in the open world and stop these crimes in progress and stop these thugs and mercenaries from destroying the city that you're sworn to protect at any time. Or, of course, you can focus your attention on Black Mask and the assassins. At this point in the story, Batman is still seeking the Black Mask. In order to do so, he's going to need more information, information that the Gotham City Police Department has. But at this time, Batman and the GCPD are not allies. In fact, they are enemies. Many of the GCPD want him behind bars, and some of them even want him dead. Now, Batman's not stupid, and with eight deadly assassins and everyone else after his head this night, confronting a heavily armed Gotham City Police Department headquarters is the last thing he wants to do. However, he feels he has no other options, nowhere left to run. And so he's going to do what he feels he has to do. To assist with this infiltration, Batman is going to head back to the Batcave to acquire an all new gadget, the concussion detonator. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. So this is the Batcave. This is an awesome opportunity to explore and play in one of the most iconic locations in the Batman lore. Our Batcave has a few standout areas, including the training area, where you can access challenge maps and other types of training, the bat wing that allows you to fast travel through the open world, the bat computer, very important to the case file system and Batman's detective work in general, Alfred, who we'll talk to in a few minutes, and the workbench, where we acquire a few key gadgets. Let's head there now. So this is the concussion detonator, a new gadget that we have in the game. As with every gadget in Batman's arsenal, it's non-lethal. This particular gadget is designed to help Batman deal with crowds, which is going to be very effective for him when he has to go infiltrate the GCPD. Congratulations are in order, sir. I just used his arrogance to my advantage, a textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, We'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. Anything to report? Nothing you don't already know, sir. So one of the coolest features of our Batcave is the training area. This is a very important tool for Batman and the player in order to be able to hone their skills and learn new things. So here we're going to go practice with our new gadget, the Concussion Detonator. But the player can return here at any time in the game in order to practice against new enemies, anything that they feel like that they need to get better at so that they can survive this night in Gotham when all the assassins are hunting them down. Coming to the Batcave to train is going to be a very important process for Batman and the player to not just be another masked vigilante, but to becoming the Dark Knight, the Guardian of Gotham. This early career space allows the player to explore an era where Batman is truly alone. 
Sure, he has Alfred, as always, but in many ways, he is alone out on the streets, and Gotham is filled with his enemies. The very city he's trying to protect is really his greatest threat. And on this night, that threat has gone through the roof when all the assassins come to town. For the first time in his two-year career, Batman is alone in a way that we can only imagine. Many believe he does not even exist. And those that do know he exists have no idea what he truly is. This night draws Batman out of the protection of the shadows. He is now known and vulnerable. And this is a very exciting situation. It's one where Batman and the player must adapt or die. Gotham City and Batman Arkham Origins is a huge open world space for the player to explore. It's over twice the size of Arkham City. As such, we have given the player the Batwing, which allows them to fast travel to various points that they can unlock throughout the world as they progress in the game. Guards have been doubled at police precincts since Loeb's murder. You'll need to find a way to sneak in that won't attract attention. Otherwise, you'll never make it to the server room. Understood. Thanks. Due to all of the assassins being in the city after Batman, the city is thrown into chaos. So we are going to find officers of the GCPD all through Gotham, trying to get control of the chaos that has taken over the city. And they will also be hunting down Batman. So the player is going to come into contact with these police quite often throughout the game. Here, we are trying to infiltrate one of their precincts, which are heavily guarded because of all the events that are taking place on this night. As Alfred said, Batman's not going to be able to infiltrate the GCPD head-on. He's really going to have to find a way to get in unnoticed. To do that, he's going to have to use all of his predatory skills. This will include all of his takedowns, his ability to sneak around unnoticed, and using some of his arsenal of gadgets in order to distract people into position where he can get them separated. Batman would like nothing better than to infiltrate the GCPD, make his way to the server room to get access to the information that he needs, and then exit again without being seen. But as we'll see very shortly, the GCPD and the SWAT are not so easily fooled and quickly realize what he's up to. I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order. Eagle-eyed players may notice that Batman is pulling some punches when dealing with the GCPD and the SWAT. Even though some of them want him behind bars, even though some of them want him dead, he will not treat them with the same level of brutality that he does the random thugs in the street. The fact that Batman has to break into the GCPD is a key reminder that this is, in fact, an early career Batman story. Later on in his career, we know that if Batman needed information from the GCPD, he could simply call Gordon or any other of his allies within the Force. But here, he has to sneak in. 
Loeb. Loeb understood. But the problem is Gordon ain't a team player. Yeah, how do you expect us to survive on a cop stop? Somebody this won't be easy. But if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. assassins in town tonight. From the info we've been gathering, they're among the most dangerous criminals on record. Period. We've learned that they're all competing for a huge bounty, which Black Mask has offered for the head of the bat. Where do I sign up? Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. No wonder the bat got the drop on him. Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. <laughs> I've marked it on your map. Got the don't know! Oh, yeah! Right in the jaw! I don't stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Hi, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup for a black team, I was making us some money. I've worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars. Those of you waiting to the I've got to be quiet so those SWAT officers don't hear me. As if the eight assassins weren't enough, we've just seen that SWAT is actually after the bounty on Batman's head as well, led by a corrupt SWAT officer by the name of Brandon. So we can see how this bounty has just added more and more chaos to the night and heaped more challenges in front of Batman that he's going to have to face to get to the bottom of what the Black Mask is up to. If we can't find dirt, we make our own. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perks? So what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. <laughs> Not you again! Talk! or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? When we talk about how the early career space allows you to play a younger, rawer Batman, sequences like that is what we mean. Who told you that, huh? Your buddy Anarchy? He will wipe this city clean of your filth! So here we've shown you how some of the gameplay systems, the narrative, the environments, the characters, and the relationships in Batman Arkham Origins serve to reinforce that early career space the challenges that Batman will have to overcome in this game. The assassins, the thugs, the mercenaries, the cops, and even SWAT themselves will force him to evolve, 
force him to go from being just a masked vigilante to truly becoming the Dark Knight. Give this bastard what he wants, he'll send the tape to the press. What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> Priority one alert. All personnel be advised. Two elevens reported on the ground. Six twenty two on the premises. Repeat. Priority one alert. Intruder in the building. He is the worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. On October 25th, you'll be able to experience for yourself this pivotal early career Batman story. Thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoy the game.